Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded circle uh, inscribed uh, in an equilateral uh, triangle ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side length of this uh, equilateral triangle is uh, 8 uh, units. And moreover, these points uh, D, E and uh, F are our points of tangency. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'll share with you two different approaches with and without trigonometry. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Since we wanted to find the area of this green circle, so therefore, we must calculate the radius first. So therefore, let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point C onto this line AB as you can see in this uh, next diagram and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees no wonder this is our 90 degree angle and this is our radius uh, R and moreover just keep in your mind that this uh, center of this uh, circle O is called centroid and this uh, line CD is called the median. So therefore, if this uh, whole length is eight units, so therefore this median is gonna divide uh, this length into two equal parts. This is going to be four units uh, and likewise this four units as well. Let me go ahead and call this uh, CD length uh, as H. And now we are going to find the value of uh, H. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CDB. And we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus P square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, A is 4. So this is going to become 4 square. B in our case is H. So this is H square equal to C is 8. So that's going to become 8 square. Let's simplify. Let's subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone. So our H square value turns out to be 48. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root. So therefore, our h value is going to be the square root of 48 could be simplified to 4 times square root of 3. So I can write 4 times square root of 3 and this is our h value. And here's our second approach. I'm going to show you how to use the trigonometry to calculate the value of h. Once again, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDB since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle. So therefore, all these uh, angles are 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. And likewise, this angle is 60 degrees as well. And now let's recall the Sokotoa. According to this uh, Sokotoa, sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is 8 units uh, and our opposite is uh, H and moreover our angle theta is 60 degrees. So therefore, we can write a sine of uh, 60 degrees equals to opposite is H divided by hypotenuse is 8. Now we know that sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, I can replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2 equals to h divided by 8. Now let's go ahead and multiply by 8 on both sides to isolate h. So therefore, this 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore, our h value, if we reduce left hand side, so that is going to give us 4 times square root of Three. So our value turns out to be 4 times square root of 3, same as the one that we did before. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point A onto this uh, line BC now. 
as you can see in this uh, next step once again this uh, ae is our median so therefore this is going to divide this uh, whole length 8 into two equal parts so this is going to be four units and this is going to be four units as well and now we can see in this uh, triangle aeb this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 60 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees and now let's focus on this triangle a d o this is our 90 degree angle this is our 30 degrees so this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, a d o and this uh, big triangle uh, a e b are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and let me go ahead and label uh, this radius uh, by this lowercase r and one more thing we know that our this uh, cd length is uh, h then this uh, a e length is going to be h as well and now we are going to have a proportion so that means the the ratio of this uh, r and 4 let me go ahead and write down r divided by 4 equals to the ratio of 4 divided by this h so therefore let me go ahead and write 4 divided by h and now we know our h value is 4 times the square root of 3 so therefore i'm going to replace this h by 4 times the square root of 3 as you can see in this uh, next step now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 to isolate r and we can see this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore our radius r equals to if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 4 divided by square root of 3 so therefore our radius is 4 divided by square root of 3 and now i'm going to show you the trigonometry to calculate the radius uh, r and now let's recall this uh, so called to once again we are going to use the tangent theta which is equal to opposite over adjacent so therefore let's focus on this uh, right triangle ado our this uh, tangent of uh, angle is 30 degrees equals to opposite is r and adjacent is 4 so i can write r divided by 4 and now we know that a tangent of 30 degrees equal to 1 divided by square root of 3 so therefore i can replace this one by 1 divided by square root of 3 equals to r divided by 4 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 to isolate r and we can see that this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore our radius r is going to be 4 divided by square root of 3 and this radius is same as this one and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, circle now and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square in our case our radius is 4 divided by square root of 3 so therefore the area of this green shaded circle is going to be simply pi times r in our case is 4 divided by square root of 3 whole square so therefore if we simplify everything that is going to give us 16 pi divided by 3 and if we plug it in pi value our area is going to be approximately equal to 16 point uh, seven six square units so thus the area of this green shaded circle turns out to be approximately equal to sixteen point seven six square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye